What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today we have part two of our WWE action figures that will blow your mind series. We did this maybe a week ago or a week and a few days. I mean, who who even, who's counting, guys? Who, who even gives a crap? Anyways, let's dive right in here, guys. We got some more figures here today that we're going to talk about. Starting things off with my boy Cedric Alexander, guys. This is the Elite Series 67 Cedric Alexander, and I really do love this figure. I actually have a custom Cedric Alexander that I'm working on right now that I cannot wait for you guys to see. Sort of a fantasy attire going on, but you guys can see here. The only problem that I really have with this figure is the torso. They they totally had the torso correct and then they switched it, but this figure is uh, pretty much perfect. I love the head scan. I mean, you could maybe dot in a little bit more paint in the eye sockets there to make it a little bit better, but I still it blows my mind that we have a figure of this man. I loved him in the Independence. I loved him in the Cruiserweight Classic. I loved him to this day, and he's one of my favorite talents, and this figure blows my mind, so I wanted to include it here today in the video. Had to include my boy Cedric Alexander, and um, he needs to be treated better on Monday Night Raw. But that's, that's besides the point, right? Let's move on to the next figure, guys. We have Elite Series 66 AJ Styles. And this one is very nice. I really do like this figure a lot. And um, I think this is the best head scan we've gotten of him so far. And it's cool to see Mattel be able to improve with their head scans, right? If you look at the first AJ Styles head scan, they did a phenomenal job, pun intended. And um, it seems like... Uh, they get better and better and closer and closer. Sometimes they fall off, but they get right back on it, and, you know, they look good, and I really like this Elite Series 66. Um, one thing that you can do is shave down the neck a little bit, and that would probably make it even more perfect, and I'm going to include, you know, the torso. The torso does bother me to this day, but they've released it with that torso for, uh, you know, since the beginning, so, you know, I, I just think this head scan looks just like AJ, and I really do enjoy it, so I wanted to include it here today in the WWE figures that'll blow your mind because the head scan looks so nice. Next up, guys, we have a figure that does not have any any true effects technology. This is long before the true effects technology. This is the Elite Chris Jericho. You just made the list exclusive to GameStop, Ringside exclusive as well. And it looks just like Chris Jericho. I mean, maybe besides like a little gray hair and the facial hair and the, you know, the, the hair on top of his head and everything, you know, we really can't do anything about that. Also, they can't include his tattoos because half of them are copyright, or most of them are copyright. So the only tattoo that we get is his Fozzie tattoo, which he has a logo of his band on his left hand. And uh, that's the only tattoo we get with this. But the attire looks great. The head scan looks great. This figure is phenomenal, and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. And it is one of the figures, when I first saw it, I was like, Jesus Christ. I still use it to this day on MDT Live because I like it so much. I think it's the best Chris Jericho Elite that we have gotten. And I'm pretty sure that's a true statement. Let me look over at my Chris Jericho shelf Yep, pretty much the best one. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one, guys. We do have Adam Cole, baby. We have the Undisputed Era Epic Moments 3-pack Adam Cole. And when we first saw this, I don't remember where we was. it Comic-Con last year? Was that all the way back at Comic-Con last year? We're almost there this year. So that just tells you. We've had this figure about a year now, I think. And it looks incredible. I love this figure to death. The only thing that I would say is it's a bit on the short side. But we're looking at the head scan here today, guys. This figure looks just like Adam Cole. And the way they do it, I don't know... I know they have to sculpt they have to sculpt the head to look like Adam Cole beforehand. It's not just true effects technology just printed on his face automatically there. No, guys, they have to sculpt the head um, from scratch, I'm pretty sure, and then they print that true effects technology over the top, and that's what gives it that complete look. You still have to get the head shape, the wrinkles, the likeness, you know, the nose, the facial structure, and all that good stuff, and they capture it perfectly here with Cole, and Adam Cole is one of my favorites in the world, and, and this, this just nails it, man. This blows my mind every time I look at it, so I had to include Adam Cole here today in this video, and the next one's probably going to surprise you guys. The, the next one is pretty much a, uh, a weirdy, if you will, and it is the Elite 29 Gold Dust. Yes, the Elite 29 Gold Dust. I wanted to include it here, guys. You can literally see Dustin Rhodes right through this figure's face, right through this PNG file of Gold Dust that I found on Google that I saved to my computer to plug into this video to show to my fans right here in this video. You will see that this looks just like Dustin Rhodes, looks just like Gold Dust, and I really do like this figure a lot. And it's not the one that I use on Vindication, which is kind of upsetting, but I don't control Vindication. I do film it, and I could change the figure out, but I wanted to blame someone else. So I'm going to blame Brad, and I'm going to say that he is the reason we use that Elite uh, 47.5 instead of the Elite 29. If he appears again, we will be using this one, so you can just write that down right there. But we have the Elite 29 Gold Dust. He looks good. I really like this figure. The way they captured the face paint and the, the sculpt work of... This is this is like astronomical years before we got the true 
effects technology. So this figure is really outstanding when you look at it from that perspective and how early we got this figure. Um, next up, guys, I want to talk about the Elite 49. Is it Elite 49 Apollo Crews? I think it is Elite 49 P Apollo Crews. This figure looks fantastic. And again, this is before True Effects technology. So, you know, this is mo uh, mostly sculpt work and paint detail that they nailed completely. They got his big, bright, beautiful smile. And I think they captured it perfectly here with this Apollo Crews figure. They also gave us a nice attire, the white wrist tape. Uh, the, this is the first time we got this body mold for Apollo Crews. I know you can't see it in the photo. He's covered up with an Apollo Crews NXT t-shirt. I'm aware of this. However, this is a figure that we got a new torso with. And I think that from top to bottom, I think I included this figure in the most underrated figures ever made. And I think it is because nobody really talks about it. It's a really, really good elite. I think the parts choices they used were perfect for him. He's got the nice torso. He's got the nice jacked arms. Perfect body mold. He's the perfect height. And the head scan is perfection. So I really wanted to include Apollo Crews here. Really will blow your mind. You put it up next to Apollo Crews if you ever see him on TV again. And uh, he looks great. So there's Apollo Crews. Next up, guys, we have the WWE Champion Kofi Kingston right here. And it sucks because I like looking at this figure, it looks just like Kofi. Anybody who owns this figure, the Elite Series 60 Kofi Kingston, will tell you that it looks just like Kofi Kingston. However, I could not find a picture that he was making this facial expression. Um, so I had to go with one where he's smiling and to me it doesn't capture the likeness as much here in the in the smiling with the teeth i think it's just because you know, we, we don't have his teeth on the figure, so you can't really see it. And it, it, he it's totally... The figure looks like him, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. The figure does look like him. He looks good here, and I appreciate this figure a lot. And I think it's a perfect figure from head to toe. It's the United States gear. He's got the Adidas with the wing straps on it. He's looking good. I painted the paint streaks because he had the blonde streaks in his hair um, a couple months ago. I still think he has it. Um, I'm pretty sure he still has it on TV right now as WWE Champion, but... I wanted to uh, make it even more accurate, and I used to have a photo of him with the blonde streak, but now I don't have it because I'm a stupid idiot moron, idiot, idiot, dumb, stupid idiot moron, so I lost it, but anyways, let's move on. Kofi Kingston looks just like him. Let's go into our last figure here today, guys, and it is the Elite Series 67 Velveteen Dream, and I know what you guys are thinking. MDT, you tore this figure apart because the torso is so terrible, and the torso is absolutely terrible. The figure does not look like him in the torso, but the waist down, the arms, and the head scan are perfect, and I actually switched this torso out with an Elite Series 63 Shelton Benjamin, and it looks even better. I like it a whole lot more. I mean, you could use the uh, the Rich Swan torso, or the, the, the old Kofi torso, or the new Kofi, the, whatever the Kofi torso is that people use. You can use that one as well, but I like the one that I use. The Elite Series 63 Shelton Benjamin looks better to me, and so... Uh, this head scan is uncanny. I mean, look at the likeness. He's making this exact facial expression. And I'll tell you this, I didn't even look up the figure first. I looked up pictures of Velveteen Dream. And when I saw a picture of Velveteen Dream, I remembered what the figure looked like in my head. So I knew what facial expression to look up when I was looking up images for this video. And bam, found it perfectly. I plug it into the editing software. And you can see for yourself, look how beautiful this man looks. He looks just like the photo of the figure. The facial expression... I'm I'm not talking about the hair. The hair is irrelevant at this point because he changes his hair from dreads to cornrows to on his head like an afro. Like he he does all kind. Of, he does a different hairstyle every time he appears on our TVs, whether it's NXT or Takeover or anywhere. He always has a different you know hairstyle, and that's completely fine. I love that. I wish we would get more Velveteen Dream figures so we can get the different hairstyles and stuff. I for one want the braids, but looking at this figure, the face from the forehead to the chin is perfect. It's bar none. It's not even close. It's one of the best best head scans Mattel's ever made, and I like it a lot. I really like it a lot. It's that, you know, velveteen expression that you can't get anywhere else, and it's a really beautiful figure. You include this with the attire and the shirt and the entrance hands and everything, and this Elite Series 67 Velveteen Dream is one of the best figures that they have made to date as far as the head scan goes. But I think that is all the figures that I wanted to include in today's video, guys. I sat around, I looked at all my figures, and I was like, you know what? Which one of these just blows my mind? So that's how I come up with this video, actually. Anytime I want to do the Blow My Mind series, I look around my room like I'm doing right now. You can probably hear it in the pitch shift. But I look around my room, and I look for figures, and I'm like, holy crap, that does look just like that person. Some of them come straight to my head. You know, I can just rattle them off one by one. But sometimes I'm like, what figure blows my mind when I look at it? And yeah, these, these were definitely on the list 
And there's a couple more that I'm looking at now that I wish I would have included. You stupid idiot. You left that one out, you freaking moron. But anyways, we'll pick up back with another series in part three, I guess. Maybe we can include some new figures from San Diego Comic-Con in a couple weeks, right? I can do a new one that uh, if we get good enough images, I'll definitely be able to do it. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. WWE action figures that blow my mind. Had to include these here today. Do you agree with me to any of these figures? Are you like, that looks nothing like the guy? Or are you like, yeah, bro, that looks just like that guy. I definitely agree. If you have any figures that are not included in here, please let me know down in the comment section below. Maybe they will make it in the next time. I don't know what the hell that was and why the next, like, wanted a ripple effect right there. It was like I stuttered, but it was like a beat. It sounded like I did a beat there. I may have to plug it in right here um, after this comment. And then the next time, 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 and then the next time. Because that was really weird. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next time. Thank you.